I'm Luke Armstrong. I came to Tokyo in 2018 after working in a string of Michelin star restaurants around the world and earning some stars myself. My style is contemporary French cuisine, celebrating seasonal ingredients mainly from Japan. What I am fascinated about Japanese cuisine is the variety of ingredients. Not only does seasonality play a deep role, there is such a variety of produce that can be found in each region. I am about to embark on a journey, and at the end of it, I will be preparing a meal for a very special guest, and I want to gather the best ingredients I can find. Every last bite, discovering Japan's culinary secrets. Hi guys, my name is Luke Armstrong. I've just arrived in Kanazawa, Ishikawa Prefecture. What's the food culture? What's the ingredients? Come with me and I'll show you what you need to know. Kanazawa is called the Gourmet City. Tantalizing, right? A city in the Hokuriku region, sandwiched between the Japan Sea and the Hakusan mountain range. Kanazawa is just two and a half hours from Tokyo by train. It boasts rich cultures and culinary traditions passed down from the Edo period. Omicho Market, known as the Kitchen of Kanazawa. When I travel, the first place I always hit is the market. It's the best place to learn about the local ingredients, but also the culture and the people. Let's see what autumn delicacies we can find. Good morning. Oh, hi, Let's meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I'm so excited. Naoko Taniguchi. She organizes market tours and cooking classes for visitors and foreign tourists. She is the key to discovering this beloved market, which has 300 years of history. Mm, so good. Wow. This is Issei Kamitani, the owner of this fish company. His family started their fish shop 300 years ago. And now I have 10th generation. Whoa! Wow, that's amazing. Crazy. The Ishikawa coast is at the intersection of warm and cold currents of the Japan Sea. A habitat for both warm and cold water fish, it's an excellent place to catch seafood year round. This is famous. So beautiful. Wow. Can I pick one up? Yeah, sure. So, you see the, the eggs, this is the most delicious part. Oishi. So good. Very sweet. Very soft, very creamy. Also the head, very good. I recommend, yeah. Issei shows me a just landed yellowtail. You see in the head, the texture, you can tell it's wild. Ishikawa Prefecture is famous for its yellowtail, which locals and tourists adore. So, oishi, eh? Kanazawa, ne, kono buri taberu toki ni daikon oshi de taberu ne. Um, sappari sase tai, tika abura ga sugoi nootte ru kara daikon oshi to wasabi de oshoyu. Don't try. I'd love to. Yeah. Sure. Yay. Do. Very good. Mm. Another ingredient I was keen to learn about scallops. Scallops? Hokkaido? Uh, from Hokkaido. 
北海道でコールドウォーターで栄養分のある水の中で育っているっていうのが一番大きいです。Can I buy a couple while I'm here? Sure, sure. Yeah, I'd like four, please. What is your favorite preparation for the scallop? Eat as well, so a s a s h i m i Ah, good choice. <laughs> All the kaga vegetables. Yeah, kaga yeah. vegetables. Whoa. Yeah, it's so beautiful too. Amazing. Wow. Oh, that's a. Hello, g o o d a y m a s So good. だいたい加賀野菜は15種類あります。ヘタムラサキナス、パンプキン、yeah. ロータスルー、スルー yeah. 今の季節はシャキシャキってクリスピーだけど、mm. もうだんだんやっぱり特徴としてはすごいもっちり。カガ vegetables are a unique produce only grown in the Kanazawa area。ねあれほら、金地草ね。金地草。あ、I know this one very well。This is one of my favorites。I use it for。前に使った。前に使ったことあるって。With a fish。おいしいソテーソテーしたんやってガーリックバターいやいやいや代表的なメニューは昨日もなの OK <笑> I do it ルイッククエスチョンさつまいもを侍の人がどっかに隠してこの金沢の土地まで持ってきましたどこに隠してきたでしょうか、uh... I don't think it was here, I think it was down here somewhere. Samurai, だからね Samurai, だからもうちょっと考えて On the back, the knife in the back. Ah, it's not. Where? Here. Oh, here. 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 アロマティック・プロイル・ロッジ。Prized in Kanazawa. But not in other cities in Ishikawa. They let me do the grilling. How cool is that? So you're looking at the color of the charcoal, right? Kanazawa being such a gourmet city, I had a feeling I would find excellent sake here. Can you recommend something I can pair with my fish balls? Yes. Yes. ヤマハイ純米原酒です、oh. はい、少し酸味もあって爽やかな Maybe something、uh, very elegant I would really like something seasonal あの例えばですねこのヤマハイという作り方はとりあえず伝統的です、mm. サンマの塩焼きとか、mm. 焼き魚とか、mm. あと秋のキノコのお料理とか、mm. ちょっと味のしっかりした食事にはとっても合いますね、mm. はい、ヤマハイはやっぱりちょっとどっしり感があるから、mm. 今からの秋のシーズンはもう味の濃い,の濃い料理山灰がいいけれどこのちょっと今日みたいなちょっと暑い日はもう大吟醸。So today is this one, yeah? Yeah. <笑>今日は今日は暑いです。<笑> These sake are also shipped outside of Japan. 冷やおろし、秋の限定のお酒です。That's my favorite. <笑>お酒は冬に作るんですね。冬に作って、ひと夏越して、これ、秋のお酒です。半年以上、蔵で熟成させてるので、エレガントでフレッシュに加えて、少し丸みを帯びてますので、ぴったりだと思います。金沢は乾杯は必ず日本酒です。Okay. 分かった。乾杯、なお。ね、なおしたいね。Higashi Chaya District is Kanazawa's largest neighborhood for traditional entertainment. The small area is a distillation of traditions passed down from the Edo period. 
to this day, around 40 geisha work in this area to guard local art and traditions. Kanazawa is famous for gold leaf, and this is its famous ice cream. That is marvelous. Wow. Look at the gold. Very generous. Can we do a selfie together? <laughs> ah, Insta Perfect. Kanazawa flourished under the influence of its feudal lords and its samurai culture. Besides gold leaf, Kanazawa is renowned for other highly refined traditional crafts such as Kutani ceramics. Kagayuzen. and Wajima lacquerware, which have been cultivated with very refined techniques. Great. Yeah? <laughs> Perfect shot. When I decided to visit Kanazawa, I had someone I wanted to look up. Great to see you again. <laughs> it's so great to see you. Yeah, great. Well glad, done. Glad to have you in yeah, my home. You. Seiichi Yamamoto is the fourth generation of Yamato Shoyu Miso. He came to dine at my restaurant in Singapore a few years back. Yamato Shoyu Miso produces soy sauce, miso, and other fermented seasonings, and also offers tours for local students and visitors. You can try the... Wow, you go from very sweet to now yeah. more, more yeah. depth of yeah. flavor. Almost more alcohol, yeah. that, that, that smell. Yeah, alcohol is here, yeah. and uh, then uh, you have the dense, uh, thick yes. aroma and yep. tasteness is too. Wow, that's my favorite, the oldest Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a fermentation. Yeah. Let's go inside. Ja -ja! Wow. Pew. Wow. <laughs> this is soy sauce inside. This is a domestic cedar wow. uh, with a barrel <laughs> of the soy sauce. Feeling and smell is amazing. It's giving me a great energy already. <laughs> <laughs> How long the soy is intended to be in there for? Uh, we intended to make the natural one, so it should contain at least seven months, mm. and sometimes as long as a 12 months. Is there a, a chef that does the job to taste, or who does that lucky job to check when it's ready? <laughs> Why do you use wood? Some people I see use stainless steel, plastic. For me, wood is amazing, but tell me why you use it. Well, it's more natural, mm. that's the reason. We do have the plastic one, mm. and in that case, you have to add the yeast. Okay. But here, once you settle the good yeast mm. inside of the wooden bottle, you don't have to add any more. It, it comes natural. Right. And, uh, this is a kind of natural insulated. You don't have to control the temperature, you just let it be. Right. That's the difference. That makes yeah. the difference. The ingredients of soy sauce is the soybean, roasted wheat, and salt. Add some uh, koji, yes. kind of fungus, uh -huh. and ferment it. Amazing. It turned out to be like this one. How do you say? We say moromi? Yeah. Show you moromi. The smell is incredible. It's, it's um, they say there's uh, 300 kinds of aroma inside of this raw soy sauce. I'm getting pineapple, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you smell it. To say it's uh, a rose aroma, coffee aroma, brandy. Yeah. And the kind of caramel aroma inside right. of this uh, yeah, raw that's soy sauce. So complex and special. Yeah. And you squeeze it. So more on the inside here. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oishi. You have nuttiness, you have the umami, fresh, and I can see the 
develop on my taste, on my taste buds as we talk. In my opinion, I feel Japanese cuisine embodies the environment, a sense of sustainability through traditional practices, yeah. and there's a healthy well-being with the naturalness of fermentation. What does it mean to you? The more I learned about uh, fermentation, the more I feel like I touched the soul of mm. our ancestors. Yep. I will give you two key words. One is dosan doho, domestic produce, domestic way of cooking. So that means for Kanazawa people, we have our original way of cooking, mm. of using our domestic ingredients. Different prefectures have a different feel, right. and that's what makes uh, each place so special. And also seasonally differs. Mm. Yeah. Another one, the Ichibutsu Zentai. This is the philosophy of how to treat the ingredients. Mm. Ichibutsu Zentai means let's eat the whole ingredients. Yes. Let's appreciate the whole ingredients. Like you, we use the brown rice as a whole in grain. Mm and as uh, we appreciate the fish skin because skin between skin and meat it has a really nice part to mm. taste it we appreciate the yes. whole things so dosan doho and ichibutsu zentai is the um, japanese uh, old concept yeah and the old school yes to appreciate the ingredients and mm. appreciate the cooking some sea herbs over here. Sustainability, the environment, philosophy. At the foundation of my cooking is the need to balance creation with sustainability, more so today than ever. I deeply respect Japan's production methods and its quality produce cultivated over a thousand years. I grew up in the fishing port town of Fremantle in Western Australia, where the beach, the ocean, it plays a big part of the role of society. When I see the beach, it doesn't make me miss home, but I feel, I feel like I want to be in there and instead of stuck in a kitchen all day. <laughs> the finale of Kanazawa's journey, a multi-course meal at Zenia. Hi, hello. Takagi-san, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So please have a seat here. Great. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful here. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Your restaurant is very welcoming. Zenia's chef, Shinichiro Takagi, is also a Japanese cuisine goodwill ambassador. So, uh, what would you like to drink? I was going to leave it in your hands. Osasume? Uh, can you enjoy the sake? Absolutely. Okay. This is kind of our greetings. Well, it's a local sake. Yeah? Wow. Oishi. Amazing. That's great. Arigatouzaimasu. Xenia has two Michelin stars and with them celebrity guests from all over the world. First course, uh, we prepared kinjiso, manjugai and uh, mm. itouri. Kinjiso is a, a kind of our local vegetables. It looks like uh, spinach but not exactly the same one. I saw it in the market this okay. morning. Mm. How's it? Amazing. Mm. Mm. Can just have great texture, mm. and it has a, a slight seaweed taste. Yeah, it's yes. a, yeah, very nice. This plate we call the kutaniyaki, made in the end of Edo period, so it's about um, uh, end of 19th centuries. Wow, mm. I find um, the plates from this region to be particularly special. Yeah, mm. the lacquerware. Yeah, it's really it's famous in the world, and um, it's one of the reasons I come to Kanazawa to to come and see. This is like my passion, yeah. to use an antique with the fresh ingredients. Mm. As a second course, we prepared one mori, which is a soup and dumpling. There's a minegi on top. Yes. Just gives a little bit of freshness. Exactly. Mm. Mm. 
Broth is excellent. Really, really light. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Hata and amaibi. But instead of soy sauce and wasabi, today we prepared uh, sudachi and uh, sea salt. Beautiful. Where is the hata coming from? It's a local. Yeah. From uh, Kanazawa Seaport. Mm. Great combination, sea salt and sudashi. Uh -huh. In the hot summer, I think mm -hmm. this is a great idea. Yes, I did all that. In Ishikawa Prefecture, you have Japan Sea just in front of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the fruits from the sea are very appealing to cook with. And the fact that you have the mountain as well, you have so much on offer. Yeah. Is that why they call it the gourmet town? As you know, that Japan is a very small island. So almost all the location has a beautiful ocean. Yeah and beautiful mountains. Yeah. So Kanaza is not just a special about yeah, those kind of things. Yeah. But why the Kanaza is, uh, we call it the gourmet city, mm -hmm. is uh, because of culture. We have um, kutangiyaki or wajima and yeah. also we have um, a beautiful textile like a kimono. Yes. Mm. All right, next one is a um, uh, Japanese lock barbecue. Wow. We call it ishiyaki. The scallops look beautiful. Where are they coming from? It's uh, coming from Hokkaido. I'm sure, I think that the Japanese scallop is uh, more sweet and uh, a little soft. This stone is not uh, for the uh, cooking, just mm. to put uh, some flavor. Yeah, mm. it just gives a little toast. Yes. Yeah, it keeps it, the scallop is still cool and uh, still sweet taste of scallops. Mm -hmm. But when you heat them, though they are nice and buttery, which is really good. Mm. This taste of scallop goes well with uh, a lot of ingredients, mm -hmm. not only itself. Sometimes with uh, uh, uni, sea urchin. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, with a uh, uh, fish, and sometimes uh, like meat, sometimes mm -hmm. vegetables. Very nice. And also you can see the uh, shell of scallops. I yes. noticed, is that actual gold? Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Can I take it with me? Oh, please do not. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a great nodoguro. We call the yuan yaki. So enjoy with the meat skin and the kadaif together. Mm. Wow, it's delicious. Nodoguro is a fantastic fish and you've just cooked it extremely well. Yeah. So juicy. We didn't learn a lot. Just marinate, just grill. Yeah. Because Nodoguro is not always the same. Sometimes we cannot find out a good one. Mm. To pick up the best Nodoguro mm. is a first step to prepare the Nodoguro dish. Uh, I understand. Now, uh, Takahi-san, there's no menu. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Why is that? Because um, we go to the market every morning. Yeah. Then after that, we decide the menu. Beautiful. So, uh, for example, if it, uh, we have a, a reservation tomorrow, yep. we think of the basic menus. But if I cannot find a good one, yeah. we have to change the menu. Yes. So, change the menu is not just to change one plate. Yeah. Because it's a whole story. Mm. So, sometimes if I change one plate, maybe I have to change a couple more. Mm. So I enjoy with uh, sauce and wasabi. Beautiful. This is a Jibuni sauce. Jibuni is the name of the uh, most famous Kanga cuisine. The sauce is great with the beef. Also yeah. push the taste. The turnip is a great texture. Exactly. Jibuni is uh, not name of dish, but name of cooking based on tradition. Today, rice, I cook with unagi. Wow. It looks great. So, enjoy. <laughs> I feel um, part of the reasons coming to Kanazawa was to really understand Kanazawa cuisine. Mm -hmm. The people uh, living in Kanazawa are very 
proud of uh, Washoku. You know, because of history, because of culture. And we have a very close relationship with farmer, fisherman, to the chef. So we always try to develop not only our technique, but also uh, the quality of the food, the quality of hospitality. Yeah. Not only for the chef, but also for like farmer, fisherman. Everybody try to change it. So this is fruit. That's art, not fruit. That's amazing. What have we got here? Oh, please pick up the green leaves. You know, wow. yeah, our local, uh, our local grapes and uh, mango. The name of this grape? Ruby Roman. Oh, from Ishikawa Prefecture. Of course, <laughs> only only Ishikawa. Wow. Uh, do you know the first price of the uh, first auction in this season? I've got a rough idea. Maybe you can tell me. Eleven thousand US dollar. Wow. Well. Between this and my gold scholar plate, I'm going to take it home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't only the first auction, mm. but still expensive as the grapes. You like it? I love it. It's like um, a lot of texture, but a lot of moisture. Mm -hmm. It's um floods your mouth with this amazing grape juice. Yeah, exactly. So concentrated. Mm. This is the first time I see ruby grapes. And uh, yeah, amazing. It's almost the end of the season, so wow. you're lucky. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your restaurant, I feel very much in Kanazawa. I mm. feel where I am mm -hmm. is a sense of place. Small things you do every day, mm -hmm. that form of repetition. It's a refinement that you have and I think it's very distinct for Japan. Mm. Coming to Kanazawa you see people's refinement in their craft, in their work. You learn so much just coming, yeah, mm. just coming for, for dinner in your restaurant. Uh, I've seen some special techniques during my meal today. What you've done here is outstanding, thank you. Great. Visiting Kanazawa was a wonderful experience. I learned the value of locality and community. The tight relationship between the producer and the consumer with a backbone of traditions has cultivated Kanazawa's food culture. Above all, the heart of Kanazawa's food culture is in the people's pride, love and appreciation towards the ingredients.